हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर्स या गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग आई कैन सी सुभाष जी थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर पुटिंग ऑन द वीडियो थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड आई कैन सी राज हियर श्रुति थैंक यू सो मच एंड लॉट ऑफ यू कॉमेंटेड हियर गुड इवनिंग यस गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन थैंक्स लॉट थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग हियर फॉर दिस दिस सैटरडे इवनिंग थैंक्स लॉट I, I know that you know you do not know me, but you might have seen an ad on Facebook or Instagram, and then you might have felt that this is something interesting and something connected to your teaching career, and might have joined it, uh, expecting you know to learn something from today's session. I I will promise you that you know I'll I'll give my best. I'll give my best. Uh, thank you so much for. But before, let me let me just get a feel of this uh, group. I request uh, all of you to. Uh, but before that, sorry. Uh, am I audible? Is the audio and video clear? Okay, just type yes. Okay, thank you, Raj. Uh, thank, thanks a lot. Yeah, got it. So, um, Sunita Prasad, thank you so much for putting on the video. You know, like you know, it it gives me a little bit of boost and enthusiasm if I see those faces there. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> Shraddha Sharma, Alankrita, say thank you. And uh, what was I saying? Yes. So let me let me get a feel of this uh, group. Uh, before starting i request the teachers to just type in type in where are you from and what do you teach like are you a kindergarten teacher or middle school or school principal coordinator so that i can get a feel of this group right so that's what then let's go ahead let me open my chat yeah yes uh, raj from kurukshetra economics uh, subhash uh, from uh, mp yeah and uh, usha mumbai we have uh, tsc um, tg teacher from hubli from somebody from hubli yeah faridabad primary teachers senior secondary teacher from chennai uh, great uh, good evening good evening anuradha english teacher padmaja okay dr akbar from uh, srinagar biology teacher monika sharma kindergarten teacher okay 6 to 10 chennai fifth grade teacher uh, fatima gujarat uh, okay lalita tamil nadu pgt bangalore primary teacher okay arpita das from west bengal tgt thank you so much uh, bangalore middle school teacher sorry i'm missing missing few uh, few messages varsha there thank you uh, durga devi from kerala okay maths uh, swapna maths uh, primary teacher from jammu we have uh, uh, kindergarten teacher okay prabjit kaur new delhi great thank you thanks thanks for uh, joining ram gopal from odisha thank you so much uh, history teacher 6 to 10 class uh, okay anjana mishra jharkhand thank you so much pgt ahmedabad okay great uh, uh, rocky hod uh, commerce great great good evening all uh, meda international mother teacher okay great uh, from jalandhar uh, uh, retired principal in kolapur deepa from baramati pune great thank you thank you thank you welcome all so i could see that there are kindergarten teachers and pgt dgt teachers and principals there that's a good mixture uh, great great thank you and let us start let me introduce myself and then start the uh, session uh, i am shanti swarup and from hyderabad so i started my career as a teacher near hyderabad my father um, has a school even till today he is running that school so i started my career there as a teacher in his school so you know gradually it's my father school babka hai so you know i hamo became vice principal and principal in <laughs> i just worked in different capacities in schools but some of that that it was there like you know it was the same education i fortunately i studied in the same school the school started in 1979 so when i become principal so almost it was the same system which was running so i thought you know let me go around and see what are the changes the new developments that have come in education system so I went around i worked in different schools uh, some of a bug went into my mind that whether is is education system is it is it like this in india and and what uh, what is it uh, what is education system in in abroad you know whether it's in us or uk i really wanted to get a feel of it so somehow i tried to go to uk i went to uk and uh, i wanted to do a teacher training program there it's called pgc um, <clears throat> where where the prerequisite is to work in a school for one year then apply so went there i worked as a teacher there for one year in a school called deedmore school in uh, coventry yeah uh, but i did not uh, finish that course i came back and here here i got connected to different schools and um, 
the system that really really uh, touched my heart was uh, uh, the arbindo international school from pondicherry i don't know how many of you are aware of that arbindo they have a certain system arbindo international um, uh, school uh, is an integral education system when i went there to pondicherry it really it really touched my heart so i went there i did a uh, few workshops there really got a feel of that education system and fortunately there was a participant in the same um, workshop a participant was there uh, by name meera so we both were participants and we both felt that okay like we we both have the same same ideals we are both are working in the field of education so why don't we walk hand in hand even in life so i got married to her we both got married there you know got connected there got married thank you sunita ji got got married and it's been 15 years now it's been 15 years now we have got two lovely daughters and both of us together we are working in the field of education okay we and meera is also in the group now and uh, we have then slowly uh, that's where we started we started doing workshops uh, initially we did on uh, uh, transacting lesson plans and teacher training and all those stuff you know have um, the curriculum and that but slowly we found out a very big challenge in schools which not not many are addressing not not many rarely people are addressing that the challenge is there but people are not looking into that so then when we realized that you know when we then we thought why can't we work on this challenge the challenge is establishing discipline in the classroom you know that was a biggest uh, challenge many teachers were uh, facing in the classroom then you know we started working on it um, then i also did my second pg in psychology i did my msc in psychology then i did my pg diploma in um, guidance and counseling then i got attracted to a particular branch of psychology i worked i went into that and and uh, 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 worked on it i'll i'll um, i'll just uh, share with you in a minute but this teaching and psychology together as a mixture you know we developed this uh, course uh, and uh, then we thought we just like wanted to try actually then we sent few emails to different schools across india just wanted to uh, try whether schools would be interested to uh, train their uh, teachers on um, positive discipline and all that stuff uh, we named this as how to discipline uh, students without blame shame and pain so with this we uh, actually have we flown uh, okay a uh, uh, training program we have created a training program and uh, then school started inviting us that's where this journey on this the so called post to dispense started way back in 2016 so we 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 used to go to schools we used to go to schools and uh, uh, used to uh, deliver our training programs to teachers few schools used to connect to us and used to take program for one one day two days then few schools they got interested they said that no 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 you know this ek do din ka kaam nahi hoga you know then you know you uh, they asked us to work with them for a longer period of time so that's how all this journey started all this journey started and uh, this is mira and uh, we have two more people now now the team is four four of us we are working on this so initially we uh, we entered with a little bit of teaching program and parenting program as well uh, then uh, this is i think that's in uh, pune it's a bishop school pune in 2017 or so i don't remember the date it's in uh, chandigarh chitkara international school chandigarh uh, this is in um, chirak chirak uh, kondapur hyderabad and that's in coimbatore okay that's in coimbatore yo bhatri yo bharti coimbatore so we we uh, traveled across india we started um, uh, this training programs but you know our program really got strengthened uh, when we actually went into the actual uh, uh, roots ground uh, grassroots level and we started speaking to teachers and started understanding their concerns actually then when we got idea of of their concern the first hand idea of the concerns of the teachers then we started weaving our program developing our program you know uh, connecting to their concerns and solving their problems so let me start this uh, uh, sharing my concerns you know sharing the concerns of the teachers which we actually came across and uh, i i don't know um, whether you would connect to this or not i just wanted to even you know, take your opinion as well so uh let me launch a poll here uh, here i hope you could see this uh, poll on the screen i hope so 
so let, let me let me explain to this uh, can you can you see this poll on the screen uh, anyone like could give me a, a response please i have launched a poll actually uh, can you see this poll on the screen yes or no sorry uh, okay mira says uh, mira says yes uh, yeah so you know this is what we actually found out you know where, Positive discipline is fine. Disciplining students without punishment, without yelling, is fine. Disciplining without blaming, shaming, is fine. You know that's what we call as positive discipline, not negative. Okay, but what is the problem? Uh, why teachers are not able to establish that? What are the problems that teachers are facing? When we actually went into the classroom and spoke to teachers, most of the teachers uh, said this. The first one is, sir, the problem is with uh, this no punishment policy. you know because there is no punishment there is no discipline in the classroom no punishment equals to no discipline most of the teachers shared this concern with us if you also feel the same you know you just uh, give your choice there in the poll you know you can give your choice there in the poll hope the poll is working you can give the choice there in the poll and few teachers uh, few teachers shared with us uh, saying that the problem is with the parents actually see you are talking about cost of discipline in the classroom that's absolutely fine but the parents are kind of you know they are kind of pampering children you know over pampering child and it's difficult for us to handle those kids so parents are the issue that's why most of the teachers shared with us if you also feel the same you can uh, give your choice here okay give your choice here and uh, for the third one teacher said that you see you know you have acha you are talking about disciplining without uh, yelling telling um, without punishment discipline without blame shame and pain i tried it we tried actually seriously we tried we tried telling children you know aram say nicely quietly politely but it didn't work actually it didn't work you know that's what most of the teachers uh, shared with us um, and uh, some teachers shared that you know students are kind of unmanageable it's, it's not it's not um, it's the like students are like that you know that's a ground reality that's what some teachers uh, shared with us if you also feel this just uh, keep giving your choices there and it's not easy you are talking about positive discipline but in the given circumstances problem with the parents problem with uh, the society the social media it's not that easy to establish positive discipline that's that's the concern of some of the teachers and uh, some teachers shared that yes we want to but we don't have those skills you know some of them shared this concern and uh, some very strongly shared with us sir you know let me tell you bluntly on your face that children won't listen without punishment you know this is this is a ground reality and this is what uh, teacher shared with us and some shared colleagues and management uh, are not it's not supportive so these are some of the uh, uh, concerns uh, uh, that um, teachers uh, shared with us uh, i don't know whether you could see this poll or not but uh, i i don't see anyone participating in this uh, poll <laughs> did i do any mistake here okay right of uh, yeah yeah it is so i have ended the poll of uh, and uh, let me see if i could uh, share uh, what do you what do you see you know these are the these are the concerns that uh, teachers uh, actually share with us if you also resonate with these concerns uh, and uh, sorry yeah submitted okay great if you also maybe i couldn't see the uh, results of the poll here okay somewhere you know i should be i should uh, uh, be very well with these results okay i could see that so 33% said says that you know the no punishment policy is the culprit and almost 32% say that parents are the issue okay the results on the screen i've tried it before it didn't work is 14% and students are unmanageable it's again a major uh, majority of uh, teachers share the students are unmanageable so it's not easy you know it's not asan nahi okay it's not easy yes 18% i don't have skills is 7% share that children won't listen without punishment 14% uh, said this and the colleagues won't support is 8% and a very less minority uh, teachers uh, 6% of you said the issue is uh, with other uh, there are other issues but uh, this is this is what it is okay great thank you thank you very much thanks a lot but you know then then we actually you know rolled up our sleeves and started you know getting our hands dirty and that question which was 
there in our mind is how can we really make this possible in spite of all these challenges you know time is a, is one more concern uh, sorry I, uh, we don't have time i did i mention that there i don't remember but time is again one major concern so time is a concern parents are the uh, are the concern here uh, and uh, uh, i've tried it before you know all these challenges are there the question is is it possible for us to really in reality establish discipline without yelling and shouting without blame shame and pain in spite of all these all these challenges you know that's where our work started we started working on it and we developed this course and in a minute i'll i'll come to that in a minute i'll come to that so one one thing one major thing that we observed is see you know this is this is the one major concern teacher shared with us quickly let me let me share with you uh, it's it's like you know it's not the no punishment policy but what we observed is like schools say that okay teachers you shouldn't punish punish the child that's absolutely fine it's absolutely fantastic that's how we are heading that that's how we are heading that's fine but when when the school is asking that teachers not to punish okay and when there is an issue in the classroom what should they do what should they do exactly is not given an alternative method is not given teachers are not given an alternative method that is a major issue that we have observed in the classroom how many of you think that i am making sense if i am making sense type yes in the chat box you know no, punishment is remote that's fine but there is no alternative given so when there is no alternative given what's happening one of the teachers in one of the schools in maharashtra she shared is do you know sir what is happening see when there is some issues happen in the classroom we we might tell a child to finish the work 100 times still he doesn't do that and children are rude in the classroom when this is happening and when we we can't punish them so at the most what we can do is like what we are doing is we are sending them to the principal okay like you know go to the principal room go to the counselor room so we are sending them to the principal and counselor room and children understood that so it's like you know when something is going wrong and when the child knows that okay fine what can you do you you can at the most you can send me to the principal or a counselor that's all fine i'll go and talk to the principal and then come back this is the attitude of the the students and we don't know what to do this is what a specifically a teacher shared and if you if you if if you resonate with that with that teacher type yes in the chat box yes yes the letter yes in the chat box i i you know it's making uh, sense so you know it's punishment is remote that's fine that's great but what to do when something happens what to do when a child is rude what to do when the child is late to the classroom what to do when the child doesn't finish that book what to do when both children are fighting what to do when the child is lying what to do that alternative is not given this is a major gap that we uh, found out and that we wanted to address so then what we understood is you know somehow you know if teachers need to establish discipline in spite of all these challenges okay parents and colleagues or there is no time there is no punishment policy in spite of these challenges if teachers should establish discipline in the classroom they need specific research based time tested tools which they can use in the classroom teachers should they need they should, they should get these alternative methods which are not principles you know if you if i if i share with you principle i don't think this is going to work out with you which are which are not even strategies also you require specific tools where today take this pick it up walk into the classroom and use it when a when a certain misbehavior uh, is is happening so if we could come up with specific research based and time tested tools and then you know we could achieve that that's where uh, we started working and and uh, it's been it's been 5 6 years now that's where we have come up with this uh, positive discipline toolkit uh, for uh, teachers you know toolkit for teachers this is the actual uh, course the program this it's not a course it's a program that we offer uh, to teachers and this 2 uh, hours program that you have registered for that you are in this is an introductory uh, session for this introductory session for this what is this positive discipline toolkit what are the problems and how can we solve this is what i'm going to uh, speak in the next 1 uh, and 1/2 hours and 2 hours so this is what is required alternative methods are required and alternative methods should be very much specific and proven and then time tested and uh, i'm i i'm, I'm going to share with you i'm i'm going to share uh, to you about this but before that let me let me thank uh, two you know two uh, people i mean uh, one is 
uh, one uh, all this this course this toolkit is based on a particular branch of uh, psychology called adlerian psychology okay all the tools today in this session i'm going to share few tools but all the tools that we talk about we give 27 specific tools to teachers all the tools are based on a specific branch of psychology which is called as adlerian psychology it's called as adlerian psychology uh, this is given by uh, uh, alfred erdler and uh, rudolf uh, drakers you know alfred erdler and uh, rudolf drakers um, uh, that's that's i really wanted to thank uh, them i'm, I'm really um, I, that gratitude is there from my side uh, for, for them for spending the lot of their their, their life to actually uh, develop the lives of uh, children you know to in the area of uh, child development. So one is uh, Alfred Adler. The second uh, whom I want to thank is the teachers, though, those who actually uh, joined our program and started going through this for, for all these years. So it, it, this program hasn't come up just like that, you know, out of the blue. It's kind of evolving. Even now it is evolving. You know, it's been evolving. Even now it is evolving. And the major contributor to this is uh, the teachers, our, our own teachers, those who act, those who are part of our program. See, when we share this tool with teachers, they used to go and they used to experiment in the classroom. They used to come back and share that, sir, this is working. But this tool is not working. You know, this tool is working in that scenario, but this tool is not working in this scenario. The lot of feedback we got from teachers and out of that feedback, we could, you know, we could change and modify. And that's how today this program is there with us in front of you. So this positive discipline toolkit. Okay. So this is it. So uh, it, uh, after some time, after giving you the introduction, I will tell you what is this program. If you really feel that, yes, this will solve your problem. And if you really feel that, yes, I'm kind of making sense, you can join me. Okay. You can join this program, but let me, let me start with uh, this introduction, you know, like introductory session. What is, is this program about? What is this program about? So what can you expect in this next two hours? I'll take few questions. I'll try to answer these questions so that it will understand what are those tools and how I'm connecting these tools to, to these problems. So first question that I would like to take up is why children don't listen. Okay. Why children don't listen? Then, you know, why the disciplinary challenges are intensifying day by day, you know, why the challenges are being intensified day by day year after in the classroom, if at all, if they are, and uh, how to turn a child uh, who is resisting and a resisting child into a cooperative child. You know, these are the major three questions. Yeah, sorry, I'll take up in the next two hours and uh, try to connect one or two tools and demonstrate to you, you know, what is happening and how can you solve these problems? Okay. This is it. And uh, yeah, I need not to say to teachers, you know, to take, take notes. Yes. If something is connecting to you, you know, please uh, take notes and uh, uh, stay focused, stay till then. If you really wanted to find out what is, what uh, this is, what I'm talking about, what is this postural discipline toolkit and how this is going to solve your own problems in the classroom. Stay till the end. And uh, maybe, you know, if even the moment, if I say that, you, if you feel that maybe this might work or might not work, that's absolutely fine. That's how where everyone starts, but at least, you know, be with an open mind to experiment. You know, that's what I really request you. And uh, I'll take Q&A session at the end. At the end, we'll go with the Q&A session. And uh, most of the teachers requested us that, you know, like we're uh, participating in this workshop, why don't you give a certificate? So those who stay till the end as a, token of gratitude as a respect from my side that, you know, you have spent your valuable two hours of your life, uh, wanted to really learn something on positive discipline. So uh, we will give you a link at eight o'clock at eight o'clock. We'll give you a link so that you can also get a certificate for this two hours that, you know, you have participated in this two hours interactive session. So this is what is going to happen. And uh, these are the three questions that uh, we're going to address in this next uh, uh, two hours. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready? Just type in the chat box. Yes, thank you very much. I can see uh, Sunita Prasad. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So let us uh, jump in and uh, let us uh, start. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Those who are typing yes in the chat box. Thanks for uh, responding. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yes, yes, yes. So <clears throat> let, let us work a little bit. Uh, take a paper and pen, paper and pen, and let's uh, work on the paper. No, Thoda, you know, licking it. Let's work on the paper. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, take a paper and pen and then make two columns, make two columns to your left. 
give a heading challenges to your left give heading challenges and to your right give uh, heading uh, characteristics and life skills challenges characteristics and life skills okay these two headings let's start with the left now the tools that i'm going to share with you all these things these things will work uh, with you in the classroom and even at home what do i mean it will work as a teacher and as a parent so when you are writing this you wear two hats okay first you wear the hat of a teacher write down the challenges that you are facing in the classroom actual challenges that you are facing in the classroom then you wear the hat of a parent and write down the challenges that you are facing at home so you can connect these things in eh, both ways even in your you as a teacher and as a parent because both ways you are dealing with children okay these tools are specifically for children right yeah so let us start with the challenges so what are the major behavioral okay behavior and disciplinary challenges that you are facing with your students i want you to ask this question yourself and write down these challenges in the left uh, uh, side column where you have given the heading challenges okay yes i'll give you two minutes go ahead go ahead i want everyone to please uh, write it down let's work it out those are raising your hand uh, prabhjit kaur rajeshri shankar if there is any uh, concern uh, please please uh, type in the comment box and uh, yes dolly says that see the question is uh, on the screen what are the major behavior and disciplinary challenges that you are facing with your students first you write as a teacher in the classroom then you also think as a parent at your home okay right once you are done you can share your concern the major concern you can share in the comment box sheetal says that they are wonderful but not good listeners they listen but of sometimes they do the same thing again and again that's what pooja says okay great thank you so much yeah bad handwriting they don't listen not determined uh, okay uh, disobedience laziness procrastination not determined uh, they start talking all the time shouting and roaming in the classroom they extra hyperactive they don't do homeworks actually uh, some are showing attitude even to teachers kind of disrespectful okay their attention diverts very equal, uh, frequently lack of attention uh, they disturb others cheating cheating and um, cheating on parents and teachers okay no emotions at all oh oh my god okay they are distracted too much uh, not doing assignments don't don't follow instructions do not respect teachers they don't listen very difficult to control them at times uh, they don't listen when spoken nicely or scolded whatever you do they don't listen that's what jessie says lack of concentration talkative challenges lack of concentration indiscipline okay uh, not, uh, not listening okay not listening constant uh, not not constant in the work they don't focus no patience uh, lot of noise back back talk back answering not trying to understand attitude you know rude um distracted and uh, destroying school property this is one more thing that we see uh, say history is not a valuable subject okay disturbance not interested in, uh, they can't read uh, they are not ready to listen okay they are interested in activities but not listening aggressive over spotness uh, a don't care attitude not emotional no value of time you know negative thoughts are uh, not serious more uh daily homework they are doing no books pretension hyperactive uh, uh unless i shout they don't listen that's what preeti says uh, parents support even if they are wrong okay that's an issue that's where we started right when uh, want to spend more time with mobile gossip too noisy not serious lack of attention not channels energy not focus teasing teachers lack of attention bullying bullying is one more thing uh, uh tit for tat attitude uh, not listening great 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 thank you thank you thank you very much uh, influenced too much by media yes yes as a parent i'm also concerned right make fun of teachers yeah enjoying school but no value of uh, schooling great thank you thank you so much thanks a lot thank you for uh, really responding i'm i'm thank you so much yeah yeah thanks a lot 
but can you see can you see a, a pattern here you know we are teachers we have joined here across india and almost all of us are facing same problems you know we are all in the same boat isn't it as a teacher or as a parent we are all in the same boat yes yes but good good it's a wonderful uh, activity and uh, most of you you have shared your uh, concern argumentative right great 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 so let us let us move to the right side one let us finish this and come back to our uh, challenges okay let us move to the right side one uh, imagine that you have jumped into a time machine and you went uh, 15 20 years into future where your class students they have grown up now okay or your own children as a parent you if you think your own children they have grown up now so when they have grown up when they have become adult what kind of uh, characteristics qualities you want to see in them what kind of values you want to see in them? What kind of values you want uh, uh, your students or uh, your own children to learn? And what kind of skills, the life skills that you want uh, them to learn? Life skills, qualities, values. Okay. Think on uh, these lines and write, write down in the right side column, in the right side column, where you have given heading, right? Characteristics and life skills. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. In a minute, I'll try to connect these things. But first, I request you to write it down. Yeah, once you're done, you can start commenting. I can see people commenting. Uh, those who have started commenting, I really request you to write it for you also. You know, do it for you. Uh, it's important. It will give a very good clarity, actually. You know, write it for you. We'll come back to this chart again. Right. Obedient, disciplined, responsibility, empathetic, self-discipline. Uh, decision making skill, able to take decision, kind, respectful, honest, uh, uh, human, you know, being human, emotional, relationship with discipline, uh, respect, responsible, positive attitude, human being, respect, responsible, respect again, respect again, obedient, uh, responsible, discipline, communication skill, English communication, uh, okay, respect, empathy, empathy, concern. Think about skills also. Yeah, time management is a skill, you know, respect. Uh, uh, should not quit, should not quit, very much resilient, uh, uh, empathetic, respect, uh, differentiate between right and wrong, that's what Chandali says, uh, relationship, uh, good with other people, good listener, value of time, empathy, courteous, uh, right? decision making, respect, uh, moral ethics, honesty, positive attitude, well-disciplined, good listener, yeah, you know, responsible, independent, independent, you know, uh, self-reliance, um, uh, uh, good attitude, remain same in every situation, you know, is um, okay. Uh, creative, respectful, uh, mature, uh, can take failure positively, respect peers, concentrate, be honest, uh, obedient, concentrate, to be stable. Public speaking is a skill. Yes. Uh, thinking ahead of present time, well disciplined, sincere, decision making ability, good communication, work independently. Okay. Always change. Uh, uh, okay. Good human beings with morals. Uh, a successful, honest, uh, punctual listening skill. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, teachers. I'm really thankful to you. Wonderful, wonderful participation. Uh, uh, very big round of applause uh, from my side. You know, thank you. Uh, thanks for taking your time. So we have challenges right now and we have life skills. So let me bring something on the screen. Whatever you are seeing this, is it is it uh, kind of resembling to whatever you have written? It's kind of, you know, I have summed up uh, the regular um, responses that I get on in, in these workshops, I have summed up here. So is it is it kind of uh, resonating or resembling to whatever you have uh, mentioned here? Yeah. If it is, uh, yes, type yes uh, in the uh, chat box. Uh, children won't listen, back talk. That's what many of you said. Lack of motivation, fall language. Uh, okay. Bedtime is as a parent. You know, this is as a parent. Lying and stealing and cheating, fighting. Uh, media addiction, all these are all the challenges. So what do we want actually uh, from our own children? Uh, Self-discipline, belief in them, responsibility, that's what many of you said, self contents uh, desire to cooperate and contribute, communication skill, problem solving skill, honesty, happy, resilient, respect for others, flexible. Okay, some of them have mentioned and uh, most of you said that, yes, uh, you, could, you could resonate to that. Okay, great. So the moment I see this on the screen, this, this tool is on the screen or whatever you have written on the screen, I am getting these three questions. I don't know whether you are getting these three questions or not, but let me share the questions that I get. One, the striking difference is there is a huge gap between our present and the future. 
what is our present our challenges you know this these are the challenges that we are facing with children this is our present and this is what we want we want children you know this is uh, how we want them to be okay they, them to be that's a future that we want and uh, we could see there's a huge gap if if this is the same with you with whatever uh, uh, you have written type g in the chat box type g yes sir i could see there's a huge gap gap to bahut hai sir no this is the present challenges that we are facing but we want something else we have something else we want something else there is a huge gap that uh, uh, i could see many of you are typing g so you also uh, recognize this gap okay so the second question that comes in my mind is is it possible to bridge this gap is it possible to bridge this gap uh, let me ask you let me seriously seriously you know seriously when you look at that is it really possible to bridge this gap what do i mean by bridging the gap reduce the challenges and develop these qualities and skills in children is it possible is it possible could be some of you said uh, shital says could be and some of you say yep yeah, yes 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 so great we are all optimistic we have to as teachers and uh, as parents we have to we have to be optimistic someone say possible few say maybe few say we can try maybe not sure that's on okay uh, we can bridge it but we require uh, assistance that was uh, the sort few people shared but great great so all of you i i could uh, we are all on the same page that uh, yes but how okay lalita says yet but how but yes is something we are all agree yes okay yes but how is what even i have this question okay let me see let, let us see let us see yes but how okay great so yes is something which is confirmed most of you say yes but even if you do not know how at least we should start from yes right as a teacher as a parent this is what we should do okay so let me ask you one more question if at all if at all by weaving some magic wand if at all if we could reduce these challenges and uh, improve these qualities and values and skills in in your students and in your own kids in your own children how valuable it would be on a scale of 0 to 10 type a number on a scale of 0 to 10 how valuable that would be to your life to your life if you could reduce these challenges and develop these qualities and skills qualities and skills and values whatever you have written here right you know if you could develop this self discipline responsibility communication skill you know how valuable that would be to you as a teacher and as a parent in fact 10 10 10 most of you 9 10 10 this is this the i mean like at the end of the day if you ask me as a parent what do you want i, I would say this is what i want you know at the end of the day if i could reduce these challenges and re- improve these skills as a teacher if i could reduce these challenges in the classroom that you know if i can reduce that rude behavior in the classroom um, then develop that uh, responsibility in children that is very much uh, highly valuable to me i mean like at the end of the day if i could do that i can say that okay you know i did my job wonderfully god you know somehow you made me teacher and somehow i become parent and if this is done you know my job is done you know it's like i can say that yes i did my job wonderfully that's what i feel and uh, most of you also feel the same so my question the million dollar question is how can we reduce these challenges how can we reduce these challenges and uh, develop these uh, life skills okay so i want to take up one challenge and uh, try to address this uh, issue okay try to address this issue what i found out is if at all you know earlier i said if at all if you have you know uh, research based specific okay time tested tools we we need to have the tool you know if we have those tools then there is a possibility for us to reduce these challenges to a larger extent and develop these skills so what are those tools let me take a sc- tool let me take a challenge let me take a tool connect to uh, this tool to this challenge and let us see what happens are you ready are you ready is it something which is important yeah yeah some are you ready type r in the chat box type r in the chat box yeah yeah this is this is something you know yeah it's absolutely important as a teacher as a teacher as a parent this is what is important okay right after you finish typing r i'll ask one more uh, question because i i'll i lose your um, comment there okay you're all teachers you know you do lot of activities 
i'm also teacher so let me let me do an activity now you know activity time activity is there interesting rather than you know simple lecturing right you know activities are always so interesting kids love and as a teacher you also love activity okay great so let us do an activity now uh we are we are uh, sorry we are, let me let me uh, clarify this to you uh, which challenge am i taking and why am i taking this challenge i am taking this challenge called children won't listen so when you say when you say children won't listen what you are actually saying is children won't obey okay why i am taking this challenge is whatever whatever problems and challenges that you have mentioned here in the comment box okay 90% more than 90% but chalo you know let me take 90% 90% of those problems are somehow related to this this one challenge only here and there what you are saying is children won't listen whatever i am saying children they are not obeying i am asking the child to be respectful children are not respectful i am asking the child to sit in one place child is not sitting in one place i am asking the child to finish that goddamn homework tomorrow the child is not finish the homework here and there idhar udhar se aap kya bol rahe what are you saying is children won't listen this is the major challenge that you have uh, shared uh, in, in the form of all the different kinds of challenges all your problems are 90% of your problems are connected to this one major problem that bacche hamare baat nahi sunte children don't listen to us or children won't obey am i right yes or no just uh, i want your response yes or no yeah no yeah i'm i'm making sense yeah yes yes so so you know then that's why i would like to take up this one challenge why children won't listen then why children won't listen okay let us uh, take this one challenge and let us try to uh, let us see let us take one tool and try to connect this and see kya hota okay great so i want to uh, as i told you let us do on one simple uh, simple well simple um, this is a very simple uh, research a research which was done especially on uh, how a child's brain responds uh, why children obey and why children won't obey why children resist and why children cooperate a wonderful uh, research was done i just want to share in, instead of sharing this research study i want to do an activity that's what i am doing here so uh, let me let me call upon anyone anyone if you would like to um, volunteer for the activity uh, type me in the chat box okay if you want to volunteer we'll do a role play here if you want to volunteer type me in the chat box me the first me has come from ambika okay first me has come from ambika so let me find ambika first here okay ambika ambika m yeah i have asked to unmute you ambika good evening sir good evening good evening ma'am thank you very much uh, you are very much fast fastest finger first okay great lot of you are type me you know sorry uh, but when i am doing this activity with uh, ma'am ambika ma'am you know you just think that you know i am talking to you i am role playing to you i as a teacher and talking to you and you uh, as a student you are participating in this activity think like that and give your response in the chat box so in a way in a way i am actually doing this activity with everyone so uh, ambika ma'am uh, yes sir let's go ahead let's go ahead see yeah. simple thing is you know i'll be i'm a, see here we'll be role playing and i'll be uh, role playing as a teacher and you as a student is that clear yeah yeah so i'll be making few statements to you i'll be making few statements to you and when i'm making these statements just you don't need to reply to me but just mentally make a note what are you thinking what are you feeling and okay. what are you deciding okay okay this is what uh, you need to uh, make a note and tell to me after the activity okay yes okay and you know don't don't try to think you know how your students will respond to these statements i am not and asking about your students okay forget okay. about your students i just you okay you are the student right now i am a teacher yeah. right now i am making these statements right now kya chal raha hai dimag mein what are you thinking feeling and deciding this is what i want yeah yeah so let's let's go ahead and uh, let's let's start amika it's it's time to clean up the room activity time is over amika it's not okay to hit your friends say sorry no complaining stop fighting or else i have to take you to the principal's room 
if you don't get your work done then you will stay back during the game period and get it done i'm telling you ambika no talking with your friends when the class is going on stop crying okay ambika right now what are you thinking feeling and deciding thinking anything uh why always me okay mm. feeling feeling good bad uh bad okay not that good okay deciding you decide to cooperate with me as i stop crying stop fighting you decide to listen to me cooperate with me or not why always me why should i always cooperate uh what is this, this? so you don't want you don't want okay yes great i got your answer i got your answer yeah. so let us go back to this uh, two list okay the list that we have made when mm. i was making these statements uh, did you feel right now did you feel that any of these qualities any of these skills and values are being developed in you desire to cooperate problem solving skill responsibility respect self discipline self discipline which one uh when you said stop talking to the others okay but uh, i'll I... take you to the principal room okay so where where did self discipline come up there you said that you don't want to cooperate mm. you but don't want to listen right when you have uh, asked for uh, said for taking to the principal room oh no uh, in spite of going there i would have listened to the sir correct correct so that's discipline but it's yeah. not, it maybe it, it may not be you know coming from within that you really yeah, want to not cooperate within, not really want to cooperate to, as a child not really want to cooperate at that moment you want to listen but yes, right at that okay. moment except that except that you know any of these things are being developed mm -hmm. a desire to cooperate da yeah, you said that you don't want to listen right yeah but uh some somewhat uh, at any place if if it if i have listened then there would be no complaint to my parents that don't, i don't, yeah yeah don't think as a student you know i'm saying stop fighting stop crying okay yeah yeah you really feel that from you said that you know i'm not feeling good okay mm. why me that's what i'm thinking mm. and the decision you said that you know maybe i may not cooperate so you know i'm just wondering Mm. why how how come this desire to cooperate and contribute uh, you really feel that you're really you're getting that desire to cooperate and contribute think on that okay think on that uh, what mm. about the others also you can also type in the chat box but ambika ma'am you know let me take you to the left side one so when mm. i was making these statements to you stop crying stop fighting stop complaining if you don't get your work done i'll take you to the principal room when i was making these statements to you as a teacher or uh, were you motivated to engage in any of these challenges you wanted to do any of these things won't listen back talk mm -hmm. back talk why me all the time okay back talk lying uh, lying temper tantrums temper tantrums yes temper tantrums and what about the yes thank you but what about the group 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 also you know you just share your your what whatever you felt you can share it in the uh chat box and um, this will not motivate the child think you as a child think you as a child and then uh share think what are you thinking feeling and deciding thinking feeling and deciding and uh, when i was making these statements were these skills and qualities are being developed being developed or um, and uh, the challenges uh, um, are there any challenges that are being intensified i don't want to listen i don't temper tantrums or getting irritated lack of motivation Uh, not able to control the emotions okay right uh, um okay right i thought the statements were uh, statements were logical and cooperate but i want other person to listen to me so when other person doesn't listen you don't want to cooperate sudden influence in the class challenges will be intensified defiance so mostly what i uh, what i could uh, say is uh, mostly what i could say is uh, you, most of you what are what you are sharing here in the comment box is the challenges are being intensified temper tantrums defense uh, challenges are intensified and not many of these life skills are being developed you know it's like always ordering why should i if not i do you know why should i do you know that's what it is i feel very sad and bad okay great great 
okay ambika ji let us let us um, go about this one more time okay let us see one more time and yes. sort of, um, let me uh, share and another set of statements you know let me share another set of uh, statements and see this time what is happening okay 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 right so this time also you have to remember three things don't think yeah. as your student right now i am a teacher and you are a student right now what's happening in your mind thinking what are you feeling and deciding that's all okay oh, so, so <clears throat> ambika what do we do after the activity is done how can we keep this room neat how do we treat our friends how can you share your concerns so that others would like to hear ambika how can you and your friend solve this problem what do you need to do to get your work done without having to stay back in class during games period ambika when is the best time to discuss ideas or ask each other questions how can you talk and say what happened so that i can understand what you want so now what are you thinking feeling uh when is the best time to discuss ideas or ask questions to each other for this i am feeling uh sir can you just go uh, feeling good or bad just 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 a feeling feeling good or bad that's what that's what good, good. this time good. good okay this time good okay that's what i want yeah. okay okay your decision decision you want to cooperate or not cooperate this time you want to cooperate okay yeah. okay i want even the other part other all the members also you know go through this and you can now uh, uh, share your comments in the chat box also so ambika ma'am i am mean, like uh, this time when i was making these statements how can you and your friend solve solve the problems you know how can you share your concerns or so understand when i am talking like this uh, or any of these uh, values or life skills are being developed uh, in you look at the list here self discipline responsibility desire to cooperate and contribute problem solving skill honesty any of these things are being developed in you belief in personal capability belief in personal capability you know that's what that's what you can say that so now let yeah. us look at the let us look at the left side uh, challenges when i was making these yeah. statements uh, were you motivated to engage in any of these challenges you wanted to do any of these things temper tantrums uh, won't listen back talk wanted to interrupting when i was when i was making these statements interrupting in when i was making these statements in, which one uh interrupting where where you want to interrupt to which statement uh, that uh, how you want to discuss the problem uh, means not the problem how we want to escape uh, the work and go for the game spirit ah uh. that when you were uh, uh, discussing about this question what do you need to do to get your work done when we are having stay back in class during the game during the game spirit okay 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 so this time i am like let me see let me let me go back to the the uh, uh, chat here and let me see now what's now this time problem solving skill is being developed involvement of the student is there feeling good is good student try to uh, what is the involvement of students making classroom given them importance solutions from the students without blaming or scolding a kind of positive attitude problem solving skill feeling of security good feeling okay giving suggestions okay desire to cooperate that's what you see that's what dolly says what about kids three plus age we'll come back there i said you know please wait for the questions feeling uh, like the teacher is listen feel motivated empowering uh, self confidence uh, approaching very kindly and self explanatory okay right uh, um self esteem desire to most of you say that many of these qualities are being developed and not many of those challenges are are coming up you know that's what um, that's what uh, you feel okay thank you thank you uh, thank you ambika thank you so much thanks for uh, coming up and thanks thank you for participating thanks for uh, participating thank, uh, you. thank you so much so on the whole if i if i ask the group here there are 180 on the whole if you ask a group here for these are the two set of statements so for the first set of statement you uh, the feeling is not that good for the second set of statement the feeling is good for the first set of statements uh, 
you felt that not many qualities and skills are being developed but the, the second set lot of these qualities and skills are being developed and uh, for the second set of statements and, and you don't want to engage in many of these challenges that's how overall i got a feel uh, I, I, am i right you know that's what that's what it is that's what the that's what i felt that uh, we, from the comments that you have mentioned am i right if if yes if you also, if you uh, agree with me type yes in the chat box you know that's what i felt you know first and second set of statements second lot of life skills are being developed first a uh, lot of challenges are being developed that's what we understood okay uh, okay yes that's what i understood hope i understood uh, uh, rightly great great thank you thank you very much thank i thank all the participants and i thank uh, ambika ma'am but why did i do this uh, activity here you know let me let me uh, jump in i really wanted to share a research study but <clears throat> before that let me ask you this question the, this uh, we we have this both set of statements what is the fundamental difference between the first set and the second set of statements it's not okay to hit your friends say sorry how do we treat our friends okay stop fighting with the classmates how can you and your classmates solve this problem stop crying how can you share your concerns to understand what is the difference fundamental difference between these two set of statements anyone you know you just just uh, use the chat box please first is uh, prabhji says first is authoritative and other is involvement okay great yes go on go on go on what 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 is the difference that you uh, felt what is the fundamental difference between the first set of statements and second set of statements teacher is showing concern second statements are approaching okay negative and positive okay the way you put the questions okay 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 great great go ahead the fundamental difference between the first set of statements and the second set of statements are the first one yes someone says the child is allowed to think you know that's what uh, um, shini says right uh, the first one first one all telling first one all telling and second one they are not statements actually they are questions second one they are all asking first is telling second is asking this is a fundamental difference between the two set of statements if you could recognize this type ta in the chat box telling and asking this is a fundamental difference telling and asking ta type t in the chat box first set it's all telling and telling and telling and telling telling second they are not they are questions asking and asking and asking and asking ta if you could recognize that okay type t in the chat box most of you are typing ta great thank you but what what is the big deal here <clears throat> what, what is the big deal if we shift from telling to asking let me let me share with you wonderful and very very profound study was done with such kind of statements and they actually try to measure how children respond to these statements and i'm going to reveal to you what that study concluded you know the study the this this research study concluded that when you tell when you tell that creates a physiological tension in the body and a message goes to the brain to resist message goes to the brain to resist but when you ask you know that person relaxes actually you know it creates a physiological relaxation the person is relaxed and uh, and sends a message to the brain to search for an answer to think this is what happens uh, when you shift from telling to asking and when especially when you ask a child your child is learning to feel capable when they are searching for an answer okay so when you tell the immediate that response that comes out of brain is to resist oh 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 you know somebody is trying to tell me do this do that sit down stop crying the immediate response that comes out of the brain is resist when you ask at least the child starts thinking the child child starts searching for the answer this is what the study uh, observed how many of you agree with this how many of you agree with this if you agree type yes in the chat box when you tell him uh, the brain resist when you ask brain starts thinking brain starts searching for the answer do you get the point here do you get the point here yes you know this is this is this is a very very profound study which will be very much handy for us in the classroom we can solve we can solve lot of problems if we can use this study and use this tool in the classroom how i'll i'll reveal to you i'll tell you in a minute but what i want to tell you is sir uh, see <clears throat> what we would we should do is you know Uh, and, and let me ask you one more uh, question uh, and when when you are asking when you are asking 
when the brain is you know searching for an answer the child is thinking the brain is searching for an answer uh, and is it right if i if i if i conclude like that is it right if i tell you like that you know a brain which is searching for an answer a brain which is thinking and searching for an answer is more likely to cooperate than a brain which is resisting am i right if i say this a brain which is thinking and searching for an answer is more likely to cooperate than a brain which is resisting am i right type yes or no in the chat box am i right am i right yeah yeah a brain you know which is searching for an answer is more likely to cooperate than a brain which is resisting so what we should do here what we should do here as a teachers and parents you know one one tool profound tool i'm going to share with you today you know you know from the zone of resistance shift that brain from the zone of resistance to thinking from thinking to cooperation as simple as that resistance to thinking thinking to cooperation as simple as that and how can you shift sir how can you shift that brain from there it's very simple stop telling stop telling and start asking shift from telling to asking this is a specific clear tool that i am giving to you which is absolutely easy absolutely simple but don't get fooled by its simplicity it will solve lot of problems in in your classroom shift from telling to asking shift from telling to asking how many of you can see a point here how many of you see a point here you know when you shift from telling to asking when you tell when you tell child might cooperate with you two out of 10 times if the child cooperates child might cooperate with you two out of 10 times but when you ask when you shift that brain into the zone of uh, thinking when you make the child to think uh, the cooperation level spikes up the child might cooperate even eight out of 10 times the, the cooperation level spikes up how many of you agree with this how many of you uh, agree with this would you like to stay chandrali uh, chakravarti would you like to stay till the end of the uh, workshop so that we can take up the questions i would like to really answer your question please stay and then uh, bring up your question again right yeah so you know shifting from telling to asking when so the first tool that i would give to you is stop telling and start asking how many uh, how many of you would like to experiment this tool today today you have got be like an uh, like an experimenter a research scientist you have got two rabbits or one rabbit at home right now right now you have got the one or two rabbits at home your own children experiment the children and maybe if you if there are no holidays or after going back to school you can also experiment uh, uh, with uh, with your own uh, students you know if you are ready to experiment uh, type type uh, yes i'll try um, or e type e experiment in the chat box e experiment with the uh, chat box okay right yeah but do do you see what is happening here you know when you shift from when you shift from telling to telling to asking we are shifting that resisting brain into a cooperating brain so cooperation levels are more you know there you might two times you might get success here eight times you might get success here the cooperation levels are are very much uh, high in in here okay right if this asking is not not working i i'll 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 come back to that there are different levels this is only one tool that i have shared uh, with you from my uh, my 27 uh, positive discipline toolkit okay if there are different kinds of questions mind you there are different kinds of questions and there are certain questions which don't work which we call as trap questions so once you understand the difference here like you know what are those trap questions what are the different kinds of questions and how you can frame these questions for a kindergarten child and for a high school child then you can exactly use this you can exactly use this and you can you can learn all these things you know when you uh, really get into the community and take this course okay and when this this questioning is not working what we do is you know it's, we don't we don't have one tool because you know Uh, children are different children are different and then we can't say that you know this tool if a tool is working with a child uh, if a tool is working with a child doesn't mean that it will work with the child all the time and if a if a tool is working with a child doesn't mean that that same tool will work with everybody that's why i'm giving lot of tools i'm not giving one tool here i'm not giving one asking tool here i'm giving lot of tools if this tool is not working we have other tools 
and you can combine these tools also that is what i am providing to you but here i want to give a glimpse uh, here so i want to tell you what we did here actually in the activity we have taken one challenge that why children won't listen and we have shifted our regular method of uh, telling to asking use another tool and this tool helped us to develop these life skills and reduce these challenges so how can we develop these life skills and reduce these challenges if if we have this uh, you know time tested research based tools you know that is what i would like to I, i really wanted to demonstrate this and this is possible this is possible once you have this toolkit with you toolkit with you which is absolutely based on on um, child psychology so when you stop telling when you stop telling uh, but before that let me also ask one more question i all the teachers here in the room i want you to just think go through the situation when you are correcting a child when you are correcting a child especially when you are correcting a child when you are correcting a child just visualize that go through that what you were speaking to the child just go through that and and you just ask yourself this question were you telling more or asking more you might be doing telling or asking but one specific question that i am asking is especially when you are correcting a child were you telling more or asking more i want to think it for yourself and answer a comment in the chat box especially when you are correcting a child especially when you are correcting a child you know you might be telling and asking absolutely fine but which one is more in your conversation is it telling more or asking more you think you know you even think as a parent also at your home maybe today in the evening you might have spoken to your child trying to correct your child the children did not bring a milk or they did not sit down to do the homework and when you are speaking in the conversation we, what is more is telling more or asking more if if you could give a mobile phone to somebody ask that somebody to shoot you take a video when you are correcting a child in your classroom or even in your home and later you watch that video don't scold me but you know i'll tell you that 99% of your conversation will be telling and telling and telling and telling somehow you know telling and telling you know that's how that's how uh, it would be uh, someone says 80% is telling so when 80% is telling you know, then let me ask you one more question here why do you think that children won't listen why do you think that children won't listen uh questions at the end you know um, if red me 10 you have raised your hand questions at then if there is a question okay let me ask this question again why do you think now let me ask why do you think children don't listen why do you think children don't listen fill in the blank why children don't listen anyone why do you think children won't listen anyone okay they get scared they scared what, what what is that one thing that we have we have learned here because we only tell because we only tell the telling is 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 80 90% of a conversation this is natural and we are habituated to tell it's telling and telling the moment you tell this is this is psychological and scientific proof i'm telling you the moment you tell a response goes to the brain to resist and resist comes up now i want you to think um, when you are talking to your own kids are you telling more or asking more when you are when you are talking to your Uh, students are you telling more or asking more when you are talking to your spouse are you telling more or asking more and this will tell you very clearly why there is lot of resistance that's there in our uh, life in our life okay so from here let me let me uh, but how many of you how many of you think that this is something which is which is very much important yes yes this is something which is very much important uh, shifting from telling to asking telling to asking if you think that this is something which is very much important type i in the chat box i in the chat box i in the chat box okay yes yes thank you very much thank you very much great thank you thank you so much and uh, someone asked me a question like you know do you really think that the same method will work even in kindergarten same method will work even in kindergarten can we use telling uh, sorry can we use asking in kindergarten how many of you think that we can use asking in kindergarten as well no 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 yes no no yes why not no yes 
Okay, great. I want you to experiment this. I want you to experiment this and see how kindergarten children uh, respond to this. Okay, so <clears throat> let I will share you a simple case study. But before that, let me sum up this. Let me close this and then move on. When you stop telling, what you es essentially do is when you stop telling, you stop intensifying the challenges. Because when you stop telling, you stop intensifying the challenges. When you start asking, you start uh, gaining the cooperation from the child. So that's why I'm, I'm saying this, stop telling and start asking. This is uh, one of the teachers in our community shared her feedback. And I was also very much uh, surprised uh, looking at the feedback. You know, uh, this is uh, Kamakshi who shared this on when September 14th, she shared this. And uh, it's, it's, it's her uh, message in the group. Hi all, just wanted to share that. I tried one of the tools which is asking instead of telling instead of telling it did work even for a four year old child the child was literally screaming and crying so instead of telling the child you know instead of telling the child don't cry when i asked it what can i do so that you are happy immediately there was a pause and i realized that the child started thinking that's what she realized he started a conversation with me later we had an agreement and it went on well but i was really amazed to see a pause that's what I was really amazed to see. I see a pause and change in the behavior at that spur of moment, which was an amazing experience to me. And I think that asking work. And that's why I'm asking, requesting you to go and experiment and see. Then you will understand uh, the importance and the uh, importance of this of this tool called uh, asking. So, you know, this, this is a way, this is a way where you can gain cooperation, gain uh, cooperation on the child. I'll come back to this uh, time uh, constant uh, one. But how many of you, how many of you think that, yes, you know, if you, if you could have uh, tools like this, many tools like that, then yes, there is a possibility for you to handle many situations that you are facing in the classroom. You know, how many of you feel that if you have many tools like that, asking is one of the tools. If you have many tools like that, if these tools are there in your hand, if tools are handy, then there is a higher possibility for you to solve many problems uh, that you are uh, facing in the in the classroom. Okay, so uh, quickly, quickly, if you permit me, if you permit me, I will share with you what are these tools and what is that program I, I'm I'm offering. Okay, then I will come back and I'll take up these concerns again. What about the time? You know, we have what about time and the other concerns also. So quickly. Quickly, let me share with you what is it that I'm offering. One tool I've, I've taken here and I'm demonstrated to you that yes, there is a possibility for you to reduce these challenges and develop these life skills. What are the other tools and what is this program that I'm offering? But let, let how many of you are interested to know about my program? Type I in the chat box. If you're interested, okay, fine, you know, okay. Somehow I got some understanding out of these two tools that you have shared with me. Okay, great. I am interested to know about your program. What is the program that you're offering? Okay, great. Quite a few. Thank you very much. So I will not take much time. I'll take just 10 minutes to give a, a, an outline of my program and what, what it costs and the offer, all those things. Then we'll come back, jump again back into the concept and let us uh, see how we can actually implement and what are the other challenges that we're facing, the time constraint, all those challenges. We'll, we'll jump back again here. So quickly, uh, let me uh, share share with you uh, my program. My program is consists of these uh, five things. Uh, these five things. First is courses. I've got five courses here. I'll tell you what those courses are. And also I have coaching, live coaching. That's the second one. And we have a group. We have a community of teachers. That's the third thing that I offer. Fourth, now and then, you know, I'll give challenges. Three-day challenge, five-day challenge, weekly challenge where I motivate you to use these tools. That's the fourth one. Fifth is a certificate. After the program, I give a certificate. These are the five C's that I offer. Okay. Where do you get this program? You will get it in an app. Okay. We have an app. So in that app, you will get this program. And uh, you will, uh, this, what, what do you mean? What do I mean by program? I'm pro, uh, when I mean, I mean these courses. Okay. And all these courses are video lessons. All these courses are video lessons. And you will get access to entire program for one year. That's what it is. Okay. For It's a one year subscription that you'll be paying for. So what are those five courses? I told about five courses. 
first course is cooperation gaining mastery from this course itself i have picked up one tool and shared with you asking shifting from telling to asking but there are other tools what different kinds of asking there are there are, there are few trap questions that will not work there are different ways of telling also all those things we go dive deeper in that so essentially what happens here is child starts you know cooperating with you you will get specific tools where we can go and use it in the class classroom or at home and gain cooperation this is course number 1 cooperating gaining master okay uh, this is valued at 2000 rupees this is valued at 2000 rupees course 2 is connection building form some of you you ask that what if this tool doesn't work this is not working yes it doesn't work if there is no strong connection with a child connecting with a child is very very important uh, before correction before correction connecting is very much important how many of you feel that connecting to the child is important type c in the chat box type c in the chat box so connecting is very much important and this course exactly does that i will give you specific tools how you can connect to a child you know how you can connect to a child specific tools you can just pick it up and then use it and not a, not general connection i'm not talking about general connection i'm talking about connection at the moment of correction when that child is throwing the tantrum when that child is angry when that child is misbehaving at that moment you need to connect then only correction happens so this is a beautiful course where i give you specific tools uh, to connect to a child course number 2 this is valued at 2000 rupees and the third one is uh, you know you need to know you know how you are disciplining a child all of you teachers you have different disciplining styles okay so first thing that you will understand in this course called disciplining styles model first thing that you will understand is what is my style okay that's what you understand okay you are okay this is what my style is this is how i am disciplining and every style has got its own uh, pros and cons okay you will understand what are the pros and cons of my style then you will understand what is the ideal discipline disciplining style and and once you understand this two things will happen once you go through this course first you will be proficient in setting rules setting boundaries and setting rules that's what happens second when children don't follow those rules how to follow through that how to communicate is what you will learn here setting rules and when children don't follow obviously they don't follow those rules when they don't follow how you should follow through that is the most important thing that happens through this disciplining style so this is course number 3 you will learn this in course number 3 this is valued at 2000 rupees and fourth one all these things are fine but you should also have you know some some uh, control on your own emotions if your own emotions are out of control things won't work so it is absolutely important and required to manage your anger isn't it okay so anger management formula is one more fantastic course which will give you a very clear understanding of what anger is how it comes and i will give you specific tools how to manage your anger your anger i, I repeat your anger first it is your anger then we will go into understanding child's anger okay when a child is very angry in the classroom what you can do okay your anger and child's anger this is valued at uh, 2000 rupees okay then the fifth course is about a uh, misbehavior decoding blueprint you know it's 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 uh, the name itself is very much funny but let me tell you what it is see we only see the misbehavior misbehavior is like the tip of an iceberg misbehavior is visible on the outside child is rude disrespectful damaging the property throwing tantrum beating somebody that is visible that's outside is visible but there is a belief that the child is holding in its in his or her mind deep down belief uh, and that belief is a root cause of that misbehavior okay root cause of the misbehavior if we could understand that that belief the child is holding and if you could address that deep down belief then this misbehavior can be handled easily and uh, here it is not e easy to understand that that's why we will dive deeper i will give you a proper blueprint nine step nine step blueprint where you can go to the step by step blueprint and you can understand okay my child is always interrupting this is a belief this child is very much rude okay this is a belief the child is holding okay this child is always rebellious 
this is the belief the child is holding then you can address that that's what happens with course number 5 so these are the five courses this is valued at uh, 2000 entire five courses together it is 10000 rupees and this these courses uh, if you really want uh, there are 50 plus videos right now and few videos i'm adding you can finish this within within a month every each video is 10 15 20 minutes long okay you can finish all these things within a month but finishing all this uh, see you can finish even even with this one tool itself you know today tool if you take it back and you start experimenting in your class you can get some result results are instantaneous but for you to continue working on it when new challenges comes up how can i use all these tools you require support okay that's why i am giving you a one year support okay one year support where you have coaching every second friday every fourth friday 7:30 pm you can meet me live you can meet me live take up an issue and you know discuss this issue find solutions to the problems you know this is the support i am going to give you for the next one year one year okay this is what i i am i'm talking about coaching and challenge you know every now and then i'm throwing challenges this is there this is a support uh, coaching or the support that i give for one year and 24 by 7 your chat is open you are part of a telegram group you can any time you can post a question to me and i'll respond to you so that support is like your hand you are having a child psychologist handy we have got four of us together you are having a child psychologist handy whenever there's a problem you can you can chat with us that is uh, the value and i feel it, it's valued at 10000 rupees it's a one year support is valued at 10000 rupees it's even less but i value it as 10000 rupees the third one is community group of teachers together we learn together so you will get access to the community and this is valued at 5000 rupees all together all the courses and challenges and community okay and the certification for the entire one year okay it's is valued at 25000 usually it's the value is 25000 but when you come on to my website you can buy this at 5000 rupees this is the selling price and this is the price that i give if you buy if you come to my website but now if you really connect to me and if you really decide that yes this is something making sense and yes i want to get my hands on these 27 tools and journey with me take my support for next one year if you take a decision now i would like to give this entire program and for the entire one year support for 199 199 is the offer that i am giving to you uh two teachers who want to take a decision in this webinar right now okay right so if you really want to jump in this is the this is a price okay value is so much and this is a price and pay this price and jump in go to this courses and take our support for the next one year and become that teacher become that teacher well equipped teacher well equipped parent who can solve the problems in the classroom and at home i require uh, some of uh, uh, mira to share the link in the in the group actually okay link in the group and there is a link in the chat box when you click that link when you uh, click that link uh, i think you know you you will see something like this you will see something like this yeah no okay yeah sorry you will see something like this yeah this is what you will see on the screen here the course price is 5000 5000 here there is a coupon here is a coupon which is valid only in this webinar until the webinar is there so the next uh, maybe till 8 o'clock this uh, coupon will be active click on the coupon just click on the coupon coupon will be applied for the next uh, uh, till 8 o'clock the, the, you can do this coupon will be applied once the coupon is applied the price will come down to 2053 so what is that uh, 53 rupees 53 is the extra charge that you are paying for the payment gateway for the payment gateway and internet handling charges okay that doesn't come into our pocket 199 is what come to me okay that that comes to me so but you will end up paying 2053 if you really feel that this is making sense and it is valuable click on this and pay the amount and join our program join our program so once you decide do that and stay here in the webinar stay here in the webinar i will uh, um orient okay i will i will just or orient there is no code here you just click on that uh, uh, this 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 avail offer this click on this uh, coupon here just click on this coupon uh, sandhya sharma click on this coupon once you click see uh, yeah 
the coupon code will be automatically uh, applied you don't need to do anything you know just just coupon code applied and uh, it will come to come down to 2053 okay if you are there if if you have if you have if you are already paying pay it and type uh, done in the chat box so that i understand that you know you are there pay this and type done in the chat box let me quickly uh, share with you what are the feedback because feedbacks uh, talk a lot whatever i can i can say anything i can speak anything for all these years i have we are doing it initially it was till covid we were going to the school and doing only offline programs but after covid recently uh, not immediately after covid last year we started this online program for individual teachers and that's where we started taking their feedback almost 300 teachers gave their feedback this is on trust pilot you are seeing on the screen this is on trust pilot 300 teachers gave feedback out of five stars they gave 4.7 4.7 out of 5 is what the uh, feedback that they gave to our program that itself showed that there is some value in the program so you know this is what uh, uh, this is what uh, teachers uh, have uh, shared with us and uh, if you feel that there is a value in that if you then you can jump in uh, prerna thank you very much thanks for joining uh, uh, you have uh, uh, clicked done thank you so much uh, fun is it for the whole course i mean all five yes vijay it is for the whole course all five and course you can finish but the main thing that i'm offering it's not simple course i'm the main thing the main value that you are getting is our support that's what you require actually i can tell you asking right now but when you go back to the classroom you will you will face difficulty okay you know, asking might not work some of you are sharing with me so asking did not asking might not work at that moment you there should be a fall back mechanism right you should come back and you ask sir you said asking <laughs> i went to the classroom child is shouting and i asked like you know how can you sit down quietly in the classroom i asked it he did not work what to do so you should have this fall back mechanism that is what the value that you get here we will support you we will support you that is why i am giving a one year support if we thought that you won't implement it i am telling you on, on the face itself you won't implement it even if i give you tools you won't implement it without my support so the support is what i'm you're paying and you're paying very less i'm telling very less for one year one triple nine where it's a kind of peanuts per day you know not even 5 rupees not even 5 rupees per day and uh, you are having a group of child psychologists there uh, on your fingertips who can actually you where you can communicate and then uh, find answers uh, to your uh, day to day uh, day to day uh, uh, problem so that is what it is thank you uh, so much and lot of your type typing done okay sandhya sharma thank you so much and uh, priti sha thank you so much and sunita thank you so much thanks for joining uh, yes uh, uh, arpita das can i have the link please you know uh, um, will you help us after one year also Uh, one year is what I, for this one triple nine is one year is what I am offering right now. After one year, we will see because we'll add lot of things. I mean, even till last month to now, we have added lot many courses. So then the situation will be there. I cannot tell you how the situation there, but for the next one year, I am there with you. If you want to continue, let us see after one year. Okay. Uh, would you offer the same to the school? Yes, we we will offer the same to the school also as a school. You contact. Uh, you contact us you contact us okay um, so let me share um, our uh, phone number with you phone number with you of um, is this one yeah phone number is a phone number visible ha ah, this is our this is our contact number if there is any issue where the payment did not go through or you want you want to invite us to your school your school then you can contact us on that uh, number on that number okay so this is this is what it is this is what it is so those who are paying you pay and stay back i want to i want to still share few more things don't go away if the payment is done stay okay i will orient you a little bit what, what is it and all uh, but uh, let me let me answer uh, one more question here let me answer one more question here uh, teachers you know i have shared these tools and all how many of you are thinking that you know this this thing is going on in your mind sir it's fine sir ye sab kuch theek hai it's fine but you know we don't have that much time actually you know where do we have time we are bogged up with our own syllabus and you know lot of issues handling those still we don't have time time is a major constraint uh, that's there with us how many of you are having this doubt in your mind uh, type t in the chat box type t 
ये तो अच्छा है यू नो लिजनिंग टू ऑल दिस थिंग्स इज फाइन बट वे डू हैव टाइम आई मीन लाइक टाइम इज अ मेजर कंस्टेंट राइट यस 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 great great see see lot many doubts are there in your mind great and this is what uh, we understood when we actually went to classrooms and when actually spoke to teachers uh, i am not making up all these things this all this true what is what is that teachers told us this is all fine shanti swarup but where do you have time you show me time you know this is a the question they asked what about the parents sir and um, and and um, The parents and time. This this is a major constant. Major constant teacher says parents and time. Okay, this is what this. And what we understood is okay. Fine. Let me answer this time and uh, let me come back to that. How many of you you know? How many of you realize or recognize that you know when you see the challenges that uh, you are facing in the classroom or even in your home also as a teacher parent in the classroom or home? How many of you realize that? most of the challenges are actually recurring actually recurring the same challenges are coming again and again over and over again you are addressing the same challenges over and over and over again last year it was the same challenge and this year again it was the same challenge next year maybe same challenge with higher intensity maybe but uh, you are addressing the same challenge over and over and over and over again challenges are recurring in the classroom in your home if if this is what you observe type r in the chat box i the, this is what it is okay this is what it is okay type r the challenges are recurring recurring and recurring and recurring okay challenges are recurring recurring and sometimes intensifying also intensifying also if the same problem continues that will intensify as simple as that okay so most of the teachers and parents what we don't understand is we have the same problem and we are spending lot of time spending lot of time addressing the same problem again and again again and again and again a lot of time goes in addressing the same problem last year this year last month same problem again and again why 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 we do that because we don't change our method we don't use any any new methods and uh, okay like shanti swarup what are the methods that we are using or let me let me put this question what are the let me put it like this what are the methods that most teachers and parents are using uh, i'll share with you and you tell me if i'm right or wrong okay <clears throat> most of the teachers and most of the parents as per my observation as per my knowledge goes they use mostly only two methods one is punishment other is reward some form of punishment yelling telling you know lecturing some form of punishment or some form of reward they use uh, only these two methods again and again and again again and again and again uh, trying to solve the same problem over and over again punishment rewards punishment rewards punishment rewards for that moment the problem goes and again the problem comes again for that moment the problem goes again the problem comes again but they don't change the method same method punishment reward and punishment reward same thing goes on same story will be going on for so many years and if you don't don't take a decision right now if you don't take a decision right now to to learn specific uh, scientific tools and change this the same story will continue you know i i'll, I'll tell you what what happens you are using the same punishment reward and the problem don't it, it, it doesn't even recur it will intensify when the problem intensify you will intensify this punishment and reward and again the problem intensifies and you are caught up in this vicious circle you are caught up in this vicious circle you knowing you, you don't know how to get out of that and uh, that is why you will spend lot of time lot of time you lot of time goes into you know handling the same issue again and again and again and again if the child is disrespectful to the teachers if the child is disrespectful to teachers you give your full attention to that issue take that child out okay use these tools know how to connect know how to speak resolve that once for all lot of time will be saved that's what i'm telling you that's what i'm telling you i don't know how many I, I, if i could convince you or not but this is my experience out of my experience i'm telling you whatever time you are using to solve your problems using the same tool of punishment rewards uh, in that 
just one tenth of the time is uh, is enough uh, if you use these tools that's what i say that's what i say how many of you think that i'm making sense if i'm making sense type yes in the chat box we spend a lot of time using the same method over and over again that's where the time is going my dear friends are this is it's not the issue of time it's not the issue of time let me tell you now we are we are coming to an end it is not the issue of time it is not the issue of parents also it's not the issue of parents also it is not the issue of no punishment policy it is not the issue of your management or colleagues supporting you it's not the issue of how rude the child is the issue is we don't have these specific tools in us we don't we don't know exactly what to do you know when that child is uh, uh, you know when we are facing with this issue we don't have this specific tools that is the issue when the method is there when you know how to handle this issue sorry uh, yeah when you know this is the issue when you know how to handle the issue whatever the parent might do at home in here if you know how to connect to the child properly and how to correct things will happen you can you can get the cooperation from the child whether some teacher some colleagues some management whatever they do in your classroom in that 45 minutes if you know how to connect and communicate to the child you can bring that cooperation from the child so the problem is here we don't have that method when some problem comes up what to do we are clueless clueless and that is the problem and uh, our positive discipline toolkit the program that i have mentioned to you this is where it addresses okay this is where we jump in irrespective of any issues that you have mentioned uh, we can get results in the in the classroom i want you to try i want you to give it a shot when you you're not going to lose anything i want you to give it a shot for one year i am there with you to support and the moment you start working on these tools uh, on these tools you will get cooperation here so let me let me check if anyone has uh, still made a decision and then um, join yes yes if you have uh, if you have paid here if some of you have paid and you have not mentioned here type done in the chat box uh, read me certificate i wait 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 i am not yet done i want to share few things okay great so those teachers those teachers those who have made this decision to join this program and take these tools absolutely fantastic i welcome you thank you very much thank you very much stay till end stay till end but those of you you know those who have not made the decision those who are not joining right now absolutely fine you know i respect your decision but i sincerely because you have joined the program i don't know why you have joined what made you to join but because you have joined this this to our session and you are you stayed till now till this point i really want you to ask this serious question to yourself am i using you know some form of punishment reward over and over again are my challenges recurring am i caught up in this vicious circle and if not this what else what should i do think about this something you have to do right you know how 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 long you're gonna uh, think that parents are the issue and this is the issue that is the issue absolutely right parents are the issue i'm not denying but that doesn't solve your problem tomorrow you have to handle that over pampered child how how to handle that how do you do that that you should find out if not my course some other course in some way you have to find out that will solve your problem and this course this program doesn't solve not only the problems that you are facing in the classroom but it will solve it will solve the problems that you are facing at home also as a parent this is a bonus as a parent you use the same thing here in the classroom same thing there there as a parent that is the promise that i am that i am making you if you are still on the fence on the fence jump in give it a shot you don't uh, regret because because lot of teachers have gone through that they have given this feedback and i've clearly told you the support is always there with us okay this is how it is so finally i want to share one more concept and then we will go for q and a's let us see if anyone else is uh, um uh, ready to uh, join okay courses are recorded or live sessions courses are recorded but weekly coaching calls are live okay weekly coaching calls are uh, live so dolly uh, suruchi we are not done yet one more concept i have one more concept how many of you are still ready to learn one more concept okay type yes in the chat box you know let me let me share one more concept with you then if you stay okay you will get a certificate link so so you know 
have, have patience. One, one more last concept and uh, we will wind up. If there are any questions, we'll wind up and we'll share the certificate. Okay, that's great. Uh, yes, yes, <clears throat> thank you. So uh, let me, let me uh, ask you uh, this. Uh, what is it that you want in life? Let us forget about post to discipline classroom. Let me ask a fresh question. What is it that you really want in life? What is it that you want in life? Zindagi mein aapko kya chahe? Rekha says peace. Okay, peace. Zindagi mein aapko kya chahe? Fulfillment. Sunita Prasad says fulfillment. Okay, right. Healthy, happy life. Peace, happiness, happiness, happiness. Okay, happiness, satisfaction, happiness. Okay, contentment. Parjit Kaur says contentment, satisfaction. Anuradha says happiness. Uh, no mobiles. <laughs> because says no mobiles. Okay, satisfaction, peaceful life, gratefulness, uh, helping difficult children. Great. Helping difficult children, satisfaction, peace of life, respect, respect, satisfaction, peace. Great, great, great. So let me let me share with you one interesting study which was done by Harvard, Harvard University. Okay, right, Harvard University. And uh, this this study uh, they did uh, they started this actually in uh, uh, early uh, 19th, 19th, early 19th century. They really wanted to answer this question: What is it that if human beings have? will help them to live a happy and contented life this is what they want and this is a this is harvard and they want to do on research so they want to objectively find out what that if people have will really help them so 1915 or 17 they started they picked up some 480 90 kids young boys and girls and they really they wanted to observe their life um, till the end of their life then figure out the answer so every every year they used to go to the states and with a questionnaire then they ask like what is happening how is your health what are you studying what are you earning how is the contentment in your life how are your relationship all those things year after year year after year they did it for 70 75 years or something like that probably the longest study happened in human history after that study uh, they got huge data from that data, they separated people, those who have reported that, yes, I have lived a happy and contented life. And then, then they separated them. Then they started probing into their life. What is it? And they said that at the end of the life, they said, yes, I'm happy. I lived a happy life. What really helped them to live a happy and content life? They started digging deeper into, into that data, into their life. Then they found out something interesting. It's not money, actually. You know. It's not money. There was a disparity in the money also. Some, some of them earned very good money. Some of them lived on very meager expenses. It not, it's not even uh, respect. Some of them got very good fame and known in the society. They were known in society. Some of them, they lived very obscure lives. It's not even respect. It's not, uh, surprisingly, it's not even health also. Some of them, they enjoyed very good health. Some of them, they had very serious health issues. It's not even health. Not money, not name, not fame, not health. Uh, but there was one thing which was common in everyone, in everyone. And after 75 years of uh, research, uh, Harvard concluded that maybe if human beings have this in their life, maybe they can live a happy and contented life. What could be that one thing? Any guesses? What could be that one thing? Any guesses? What could be that one thing? Gratitude, mental peace, the mindset, okay, gratitude, faith in God, values, knowledge, serving others, contribution. Great. Absolutely. All are right answers. But let me share with you what Harvard study found out. Study found out. See, the, because they are they are they, they are finding out what is objectively what is there. Is it money which will help uh, people to live happy? Is it health? Okay, what it is. So then they found out there is one thing, and the one thing is all those people they they enjoyed quality relationships in their life. They, all of them, those who reported that yes, I have lived a happy life, they have enjoyed quality relationships in their life that's what harvard study concluded if you, um, if you allow me to extrapolate i would say that the the happiness that you enjoy in your life is directly proportional to the quality of relationships that you that you enjoy it's directly proportional to the quality of relationships that you enjoy your happiness 
is directly connected to the quality of relationship that you enjoy in your life the happiness that you enjoy in your classroom is directly proportional to the quality of relationship that you have with your own students the happiness that you enjoy in your school is directly proportional to the quality of relationship that you have with your colleagues and management the happiness that you enjoy in your home is directly proportional to the quality of relationships that you enjoy in your home how many of you agree with that am i making sense is harvard study making sense not me is harvard study making sense the happiness and contentment you all want happiness and contentment that's absolutely fine but happiness and contentment is majorly dependent on the quality of relationships uh, quality of relationships uh, and let me tell you one more thing uh, the discipline that you all want the discipline that you all want in the classroom in home that you're all you know you're craving for the discipline is also based on the relationship on the relationship if your relationship is fine and fantastic discipline is inevitable it is automatic discipline is again connected to relationship how many people agree with that discipline is again uh, uh, connected to relationship hello yeah uh, is it connected <clears throat> yes happiness is connected to relationship and uh, this relationship is connected to discipline so let me put it like that See the discipline that we all want. We all want. Uh, if if you see see this as fruits of a tree, of a tree is if it's fruits. Uh, the roots are relationships. Roots are relationships. Fruits discipline. And unfortunately, most of the teachers and parents they don't water the roots. They don't work on the relationship, but they want the fruits. That's the problem, my dear friends. Uh, don't worry about that discipline. don't worry about the fruits let us water the roots and how can you water the roots all the tools my entire program is based on that you know we will work on the connection how can you connect to a child you know at a mental level at emotional level how can you connect to i will give you a specific tools once that connection happens roots are strengthened the discipline is automatic that is where we are going and i really want to share with you to all those who have made this decision to you ladies and gentlemen you have made the decision and the tools are not just simply uh, tools to establish discipline this will work go very much deeper these tools will help you as a teacher as a parent as a wife as a husband as a human being we are working on our relationships and if this is uh, this is making sense if, if this is making sense still i am keeping this uh, uh, the coupon code open for the next 10 minutes still you are waiting you know make a decision now jump in make a decision now jump in and come in let us let us walk hand in hand let us walk hand in hand and see for one year we will be together and see how our relationships change not only in the school even in home also you will see that you know your relationships will change at your home and even in the school and uh, that's where we are uh, striking that's where we are striking uh, thank you very much lot of you are they pouring your uh, thanks you know thank you very much and i request um, your i request meera to share the uh, link uh, for the certificate all of you of uh, you have uh, you have stayed till here okay meanwhile i'll take few questions but meanwhile you can also take the certificate so certificate link will be shared here in the comment box and uh, it won't be shared again anywhere not in the mail don't ask me in the mail not in the group only now those who are there those who take they take that's all okay those who take they take okay and uh, uh, i request uh, meera to uh, share the uh, certificate i don't know whether she has shared or not let me look at the chat again uh, she has not had uh, shared thank you please let us know how to connect for this course uh, prerna nikam uh, <clears throat> Yeah, purchase. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have already purchased. Wait, 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 wait. Right now, wait. I'm coming there. I'm coming there. So this introductory session, uh, that that link, you know, introductory session, session, that link, uh, this link will uh, help you to take the certificate. Click on that. Give your name, whatever name you give, you will get mm, that name. Whatever email you give, you know, that certificate goes to that email. So be careful. If you give a wrong email ID, then you won't get a certificate. Okay. So give proper details, name and email ID. your certificate will be sent to your mail okay that is what it is that's the uh, from my side this is what i am giving to you because you have spent uh, almost 2 hours of your time it's, it's almost 2 hours 2 hours of your time um thank you so much thanks a lot okay right so let me come back to those people uh, those who have uh, uh, see rupa don't uh, don't share your uh, email id here it's on the link it's on the link okay right so those who are those who have purchased it 
we you should do two things actually basically you should do two things first thing is you should download the app you should download the app so that where you will get access to all that courses and recorded videos that's the first thing that you have to do second thing is you should join our telegram community okay our teachers community is on telegram if you don't have telegram download telegram in your mobile and join the telegram community the only these two things that you have to do now how will you do that once the session is finished 8 o'clock this will be finished within half an hour within half an hour we'll send you a mail even you will get immediately also so you will get a mail so keep an eye on that within half an hour you will get a mail in that mail you will get link to download the app link to download the app and uh, where you have a you you will get a link to uh, even um, join the telegram group if you are having an iphone where uh, if you are having an iphone ios uh, version if you are having an iphone you need to use a, a a code after downloading you need you need to use a code or else you, you can download it straight away or else you can download straight away that also we will mention in the mail no worries but keep an eye for the mail you will get the mail you need to join our course you know join our course uh, download the app join the telegram group these are these are the two things that you need to do okay you need to do for those who have already purchased the uh, program you know you have joined in our uh, program okay uh, let me come back to the charts if you are asking any downloaded sir thank you very much uh, thank you thank you uh, please add the link i know link is given yeah introductory session is a link to get your certificates and uh, somewhere if you scroll up you have uh, get pd app okay get pd app is a link to get the um, to buy this course and join the course okay Hello, this is how it is uh, uh, yeah good evening good evening all thank you thank you very much for uh, joining <laughs> i can see sorry it's course. a youtube thank you very much oh, sorry it's a youtube thank you, thank you sir thanks for joining and i can see raj here huh? uh, Thank you so much. And Link is playing, right? Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Everyone, thanks a lot. Thank you for joining. Wait a minute. Yeah. for the disturbance yes am i clear am i clear to everyone if there are any questions please ask any questions you know regarding the course of um, julie dhanyawadal sir thank you very much you know thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank you so much amazing effective session thank you so much mira would you like to share the link uh, there for their feedback if it is there uh, still we have few more people um, those uh, i can i can ask a favor those who are still there in the in the in the group um uh, chandrali chakravarti what do you mean how many days can i expect the certificate is like uh, today certificate or uh, the course certificate today certificate the certificate is already shared the link is already shared na the link is already shared and uh, if you give that you will get it it's automatic thing you know that that happens automatically okay okay so one more uh, link is uh, is being shared with you okay i don't know how many are still there let me see okay we have 100 people okay great so i have a small request if you really feel that i have added some value this this two hours have been valuable to you uh, i have one small request to you okay uh, uh, we, we are we are sharing one link here it's a um, it's it's a facebook uh, link we are uh, sharing one link here uh please click on this link please click on this, this link and give feedback for today's session it's only for today's session okay today what you felt just uh, give your feedback there uh, it will take you to the facebook and uh, those comments you know your comment and uh, that will really help you to help us actually it will really help us to take this uh, program to many teachers to many teachers and this is a, a humble request from my side if you really feel that uh, you have got some value and you know we have contributed a bit to you uh, in exchange of your 2 hours and please give the feedback here that's a request uh, from my side and uh, samuel das you're saying telegram link you will get a mail okay wait for the mail you will get a mail you will get two links one downloading the app okay that also you will get it 
and two telegram link wait for it okay next uh, uh, in the next half an hour you will get it no worries rashmi kapoor says excellent webinar thank you very much thanks a lot we somehow we have narrowed down and uh, we want to we have committed ourselves to work only on this area helping teachers and parents to you know establish that positive discipline disciplining children that's fine all of us we do that but the problem with all of us is we try to establish discipline at the cost of our relationship rupturing our relationship so our idea is how can we do it this is required how can we do it without rupturing the relationship that's where that's where the all the thought has come up uh, that's where we uh, help uh, the teachers and parents vijay says payment done thank you very much welcome welcome those who have really uh, believed me in this workshop and you made the payment you know i will stand uh, i on my commitment uh the videos that you go through are absolutely valuable and uh, they they have, they're rich with uh, uh proven psychological time tested principles and specific tools also and specific tools also once you go through that you will understand sunita prasad gratitude thank you very much god certificate thank you very much uh, the gp arpita das gp showing a payment request uh, meera will answer uh, it okay kindly help request for bunch micro yeah micro technologies they you know that is right yeah that is right yeah that is right please please go through arpita das please go through and uh, i will open the coupon code for the next 5 minutes next 5 minutes then then the coupon code will be deactivated okay so un until the webinar is there i'll open but still i'm here so if there are any questions please ask uh, any questions charu bansal please send again what we have shared three links what link are you asking got the certificate thanks uh, meera madam okay great thank you so much meera durga devi is uh, is uh, is thanking you thank you so much uh, one of the best interactive sessions thank you sir dolly thank you so much thanks a lot please share this feedback on the link on the facebook link this will really help us more people would really believe us and then join this uh, workshop and whether they buy this course or not they will be they will definitely benefit out of this uh, two hour session so please uh, uh, thank you for the activity ambika ambika thank you for participating in the activity thank you so much that was wonderful so wonderful i really enjoyed today's session actually people were really very interactive you know um, and i really enjoyed today's session um, thank you so much receive certificate that's what rupa says thank you so much yeah Uh, share the feedback sir thank you sunita prasad ji thank you so much got the certificate vasundara yeah any questions if there are questions yeah if there are questions you can ask i will answer thank you thank you i did not get certificate you will get it you will get it but you should give proper uh, uh, name and your email because we don't have uh, a control on that whatever email id you give even if one letter is wrong you won't get certificate so double check that i don't have control on that so god certificate thank you so much wonderful session that's what preeti gupta says thank you sheila says thank you trupti says thank you thank you it's absolutely wonderful you know i'm i'm really obliged i'm really happy that i could contribute something to you to your life in this uh, uh we'll take leave thank you sunita ji thank you so much yes you know i hope you have bought the course so we will meet in inner circle uh, bharti says problem in payment uh, uh, can you really uh, um, uh, um, yeah messages bhart bharti Uh, arpita das says uh, i tried but the payment failed can you help uh, arpita das just uh, do us a small favor okay uh, messages um uh, messages on this number uh, let me type the number here okay uh, can, can can you type mira yeah 630 or 63099 5529 okay so we'll activate uh, the coupon code again to you and then we will uh, make sure that the payment goes through because you really wanted to join and there's a technical issue arpita das uh, we um, we have uh, yeah so 630 arpita das this is to you uh, 6309935529 or along with her if there are anyone uh, shini also i think so arti also arti also payment issues shiri arthi payment issues are there please message us just send a hi okay send a hi or send payment issue okay we will contact you and we will uh, uh, okay so that you know i know that we know that you are in the webinar and we can activate that coupon coupon code to you okay preeti says that asking what are my quits while the session was going on thank you so much yes it will yes it will but even if it doesn't work you know you you don't need to uh, worry about it uh, that's where you know all other tools come into the picture we have different versions of asking we have other tools we can combine other tools 
um, you know that's how you can do it okay payment issue reshma payment issue please message to this number 6309935529 just message payment issue we will come back to you immediately okay i did not get certificate yet you should get it because this is automated one i have no control on that if you have given proper email okay check your spam so those who did not get the certificate check your spam other folders sometimes it goes into spam okay certificate comes from the name uh, i don't know it, it will it will come on the name of uh, mira okay vedam mira okay sender will be vedam mira check your spam and all other folders also sometimes it goes there okay please do that can i leave yes prerna nikam you can leave thank you so much uh, uh, keep an eye on our mail you will get a mail join our telegram group download the program you can start watching the video you can start uh, watching the video uh please send the link for my friends for internet session uh, um yes julie yes that's the link please copy that link and keep that with you share that link to your friends uh, so that they can join the next uh, uh, internet session uh, happening on next uh, uh, next um, saturday okay next saturday thank you sir prerna thank you keep up the good work thank you so much thanks a lot thank you so much uh, thanks a lot so it is 8 o'clock uh, so uh, uh, 8 o'clock still there are some of you you want to um, vija uh, telegram link uh, you will get it on your mail okay that's the link where all the paid members uh, will will join so uh, 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 link uh, you will get it on your mail on your mail okay yeah on your mail from there you can join because okay? that's an inner circle uh, group sneha please check uh, please check all your uh, spam and all those things please do that okay and you will get a mail from vedam.mira you will get a mail from vedam.mira yeah okay those have not got the certificate because certificate i cannot uh, share the link again so I'll, let me wait for some more time still somebody is having issue the certificate you no know, you can you can resolve it can they uh, click the link again and then do that yeah so if if you think that uh, there is some problem you did not give a proper name or email id you can click on the link again yes it's shared here click on the link again you will get the certificate again okay no worries but it is automated i don't have any control on that so whatever email id you give you will get it there if you have filled you will get it that's automatic check your spam folders and all those things how can my colleagues get connected to the session yeah that's what um, that link that you have got you have, mira shared just now uh i don't know it is it, sharing again julie yeah um, uh she is sharing the link again copy that link just share that link to your colleagues on whatsapp or just message them they can click on that link and register as simple as that as simple as that okay uh, yeah she just now she shared this link let me go back and she is trying to share it again mm, where is this link gone Okay. Or, or Julie, like you can you can message us on this number also WhatsApp number six three zero double nine triple five two nine. Note it down six three zero double nine triple five two nine. Message us that you know I need link um, to send it to my colleagues to join the next interactive session. We will send you the link. okay that also can be done um yes yes i, I don't know whether julie you could see that my happy family dot in uh, slash tt slash is this is the link here also recently again mira shared the link okay please copy this link please share it with your colleagues okay that's how it is please share it with your colleagues wonderful thank you thank you so much uh, thanks a lot um yeah i'm um, i can yeah. i'm just waiting just for those to those who are still facing any issues with the certificate um maybe because later i cannot do anything actually it's in the session only okay i don't know who who stayed till the end or not i do not know that's why i'm just staying now <clears throat> yes yeah. those who are many of you said that you are having uh, you are facing payment issues please message us uh, 6309935529 then only we would be able to activate the coupon code to you especially okay 
So or else it will be deactivated again. Uh, it will go back to 5,000 now. 6309355529. 6309355529 is our number. Please message us payment issues. That's all. We will come back to you. Okay. That's that's how it is. Yeah. Okay, so uh, is we get a booklet form for the school? Uh, you read me note eight. Uh, you want to conduct this program in your school? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm asking. Or is that your question? Like, what is it that you're asking? What do you mean you will get booklet uh, form for the school? Uh, if you want to conduct, there's no form actually. If you want to conduct in your school, message us on the same number. We'll contact you. Okay, we'll contact you, and then we can figure out huh? how can we do that. Where is your school? Because we are based out in Hyderabad, so where is your school and all those things? Huh? Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's how it is. So thank you. Still, twenty-eight people are still there in the program. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let me really take your name: Anuradha Bharti, Bindi Harjit Kaur, Hema K R, Naina. Nalanda Innovative School, uh, Parminder, uh, Puja, Puja Kalra, Rajasri, Redmi, uh, Reshma, Shagufta, Sheetal, uh, Sheetal Sneha, and Sri Vijaya. Okay, so Vijaya and uh, Chanchal, uh, Devasmita, Gayatri, uh, Rashmi Kapoor, uh, Ritha Parna Mukherjee. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. And still, you are there here. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, thank you and bye bye. And uh, have a wonderful life. Be happy. Be happy. And um, relationships are important okay thank you